Hello world, welcome back to another CTF After Dark Fall 2022 write-up video. In this video, we'll be walking through all the steg challenges from the CTF. Let's get into it. So we're going to start off with day and night. Los Angeles is so different and beautiful at night. The key to taking such beautiful photos is to do it in black and white. And always point your camera towards the skyline facing out, I guess. Okay, so the description actually kind of has a clue to how we're supposed to solve this one. If you look at the last little phrase right here, it says facing out, I guess. There's a special steganography tool called Outguess, which can embed files inside of images. And it's even implied by the description that the key is black and white in all caps. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to run Outguess on losangeles.jpg. Let's first take a look and see what that JPEG looks like. And it's just a gray, black and white photo of Los Angeles. So how we want to get Outguess is you can just run Outguess as is to pull up the help menu. And you can kind of see which flags we're supposed to use. We obviously want to use R for retrieving message from the data. And then we can also put in, where is it? Tat K for the key. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to run Outguess, Tat K, black and white, Tat R, Los Angeles, .jpg. And then we'll I'll put it to just an out because we don't know what kind of file it is. All right, so if we run file on out, we see that it's a PNG image, so we can do EOG out. We see that it's a QR, so we can run ZBar image on out, and we get our flag, pandas, zebras, and orcas. So we'll copy that, paste it in, and submit. All right, let's move on to Monin. Any true jazzer knows that you're always supposed to listen in mono. I got this track from my dad's old records. It's a bit scratched in some spots. Could you help me convert it to mono and maybe even remove the scratching? The flag is one word, wrap it with flag. Okay, so they're gonna give you a WAV file and I have it in here. And what we wanna do is we wanna actually pull this into Sonic Visualizer. And then we're going to do add spectrogram. And then there's a little fin section right here that we can zoom into. And if you look, it's part of the word groanin. No G at the end, so no groaning, just groanin. Kind of like the challenge title, which is moanin, right? You can see G-R-O and then the A is blocked here, but you can see the A here and the N as well. And so your flag is gonna be groanin in the flag format. All right, let's move on to the next steg. Sinobinaisaya, which is just Heisenbones backwards. And I can't read this yet, so let's grab this and pop it into CyberChef and run the reverse utility on it, since that's all they did with it is reverse it. And this says, wow, I'm rewatching Breaking Bad and apparently there's this ridiculous skeleton character named Heisenbones. I don't remember this at all. So if you download the file, you're gonna get a MP4 file, I believe. I actually have it over here in Kali. All right. And then they also have another link, which is this wow link. And it takes you to this GitHub called Video Stego. Now, all you have to do is install Video Stego and run it. Once you make the install for it and do the make build, you'll have access to it just as a normal standard global tool in Kali. So if we run the tool as it shows here, here's the how to run section and then here's you know the help for it, right? You just input the file and you want to read the secret message from the video file. So they have an example of that right here. So it's literally just gonna be video stego, tech F, our MP4 file, and then tech R for reading the secret message. So let's run video stego, tech Fs, and then tech R. And there's our flag, newer Mandela effect just dropped. So we'll copy that, paste it in, and submit. Oh, it didn't copy everything. We'll just put the FL at the beginning. There we go. All right, let's move on to the next steg, Zalgo. Here's some code that prints the entire script of Shrek. Yup, that's the only thing it does. Hint, a little Reddit OSINT might be helpful. We love open source code. 
make sure you have Python 3.10 or later installed. All right, so we're gonna stay in the Kali box for this one as well. And we're gonna go to my Zalgo challenge directory. And you'll notice I have a decompress.py script and I'll explain that that does here in a second. But if you were to actually look at the shrek.py file, and that may not open like we want it to. There it goes. You're gonna notice there's some really random text up here at the top. And that's that Z algo kind of obfuscated text that kind of obfuscates what's written inside a file or whatever so that it's harder to see it. Now, this is where the Reddit comes in. So what I ended up doing was I went to Google and I just typed in Zalgo Python Reddit, like so. And then you're gonna see the second link right here that kind of looks interesting. And if you click on it, I don't know if it loads or not. Okay, it did load that time. Last time I had to look at a cache version of it. But if you read through this, it kind of explains how you can kind of encode text in Zalgo. So it's not just blocking the text, it also like outputs other text. Or you can encrypt text using Zalgo as like an encryption algorithm. What we're interested in is this original Python implementation down here. Because if you look at compress.py, you're gonna notice that there's a Unicode decompress function, which is what we want to run to kind of decompress that Zalgo block inside the Shrek.py script to see if there's anything hidden in it. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. And I can show you what the script does here. And let's actually pull this over here. So all I did was I ripped the decompress function from you know, the GitHub over here. And then I just open up the Shrek PY file and I read it as bytes because obviously just reading it as normal ASCII text won't work. And then I store the bytes inside of a Zalgo variable. And then I just run the function on that variable and then I print out the output back out. So with that being said, we can go ahead and run the script. But the other thing I want to do is also redirect the output to out.txt because if you pipe it into grep, it doesn't really work very well. If you want to grep for the flag, it'll just print out everything since it's all kind of on one line. So this is easier because we can output it to out.txt and then search for the flag inside of a text editor with control F. So let's go ahead and do that. And so here we have our out.txt and I'll go ahead and do a G edit on it. And it takes a second to load because it's a lot of text. And all you need to do is do a control F for flag. And you'll find the flag right here. Now, if you tried to do a control F in the flag on the original Shrek.py script, you will not find this flag in here. You only find it if you decompress the Shrek.py script using that Zalgo Python decompressor we found on GitHub through the Reddit post. So our flag is accidentally in love and we'll copy that. Paste it in and submit. All right, moving on to the final steg challenge in this CTF, diff. I like listening to my music in mono, but someone broke my converter. Here, listen to this. It's supposed to be mono, but the left and right channels are slightly different. Could you help me figure out what the difference is so I can try to fix it? All letters, lowercase, separate words by underscore and wrap with flag. All right, so I'm gonna actually show you how to solve this one on Windows here. And we're gonna open up the diff directory and you get this doomsday.wave from the challenge description. And then we're gonna drag this into Audacity. Now our goal is to kind of expose the differences between the left and the right channels, which will have their own audio associated with that once we expose whatever bytes are different between the two channels. So the way we want to do that is first we want to split the stereo track so that we're dealing with both channels separately. And then we want to invert the right channel. Oops. Make sure you just select here and then we go to effect special invert and then you're going to convert the right channel to a left channel and then you're going to select both channels and then you're going to do effect no you're going to do tracks mix mix and render and then you're going to notice that there's a slight little bit of audio right here we can listen to 
It's not audible, but that's fine because what we can do is first file export as wave and we'll call it flag.wave. And then we come back into our directory here. And what we want to do now is open that up in Sonic Visualizer. And then drag our WAV file in there. And then we're going to do layer add spectrogram. And you're going to notice that it's actually Morse code. Awesome. So we can easily decode that in CyberChef. So we start off with, let's see, dash dot dot dot, then a dot, then another dot, then dot dash dash dot, then what looks like a space there. So we'll just put a slash there. And then dash dot dot dot, dash dash dash. Dash 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 dot dash dash dot. So we get beep boop and then it says separate words by an underscore. So we need to put an underscore in between beep and boop. But let's copy that. And then flag beep boop. Actually, we didn't need to paste that in. We need to do lowercase. All right, and that should be our flag, so let's submit it. All right, that wraps it up for all the stack challenges from the CTF, so if you enjoyed the video, drop a like and subscribe to the channel to show your support. Turn on post notifications to get regular injections of cyber content directly into your feed. Check out our Patreon, join our Discord, and follow us on Twitter. Links in the description box down below, and leave any feedback or questions in the comments section down below. This is Almond Milk. thanks for watching. Goodbye, world.